No, the big question is, who wants to see my wife go absolutely mental? <laughs> Since it's Hannah's birthday today, can I get you all to stand up? And on the count of three, sing a happy birthday. <laughs> One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Hannah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Stick it out through the thick and thin Need our love like oxygen Make it through all the restless nights Never let our love fade out of sight Faithful as the morning light What's mine is yours and yours is mine I first met Hala when we were both at Tory Academy in geography class. I tried talking to her a few times, but Hala being Hala just ignored me. But I wasn't going to put up with her ignorance. So I took it upon myself to get her attention. This was achieved by throwing various pieces of stationery at her, ranging from pens to rubbers. Hala eventually gave in and spoke to me, and gave me her number as well. And after a lifetime's worth of texts back and forth, she invited me to meet up for a date. On that day you'll be a sight to see The Lord saved the very best for me He gave me courage and he made me strong Or just wild enough to take you on We'll make it through all the restless nights won't remember who was wrong or right Cause baby love is a compromise What's mine is yours and yours is mine Mine is yours and yours is mine And when I say date, more like I was invited to be the laborer on a paper round <laughs> <laughs> She turned up looking great wearing the killer combinations of white lacrosse trainers Navy Adidas tracksuit bottoms and a black baghouse jacket. But not forgetting the biggest turn on of all, the high vis paper bag. I'm sure you would all agree, getting married on your birthday is a little extreme though. <laughs> Just to make sure Jordan doesn't forget your anniversary. Time flies by so quickly. It doesn't seem that long ago since Hannah was born. Hannah is a wonderful daughter. She's a very caring person and has given us so much joy and happiness over the years. She's a perfect young lady who I'm extremely proud to call my daughter. And I'm sure Jordan will also be proud to call his wife. Jordan and Hannah, as a seal to the vows you're about to make, would you join together the right hand? Okay. Before God. Before God. And in the presence. And in the presence. Of our families and friends. Of our families and friends, I Jordan. I Jordan. Declare my love. Declare my love for you, Hannah. For you, Hannah. And I give myself to you. And I give myself to you as your husband. As your husband. I promise you my love. I promise you my love. My loyalty. My loyalty. And my trust. And my trust. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. 
before God, before God, and in the presence, and in the presence of our families and friends, of our families and friends. I, Hannah, I, Hannah, declare my love, declare my love for you, Jordan, for you, Jordan, and I give myself to you, and I give myself to you as your wife, as your wife. I promise you my love. I promise you my love. My loyalty. My loyalty. And my trust. And my trust. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. Jordan and Hannah, you have declared your love for each other before God and this congregation. You have pledged that you will live together in Christian marriage, in the words of your promises, and in the symbolism of the joining of hands and the giving of rings. I therefore declare you to be husband and wife. So uh, uh, it is now my pleasant duty, my friend, to invite you to kiss the bride. On behalf of my beautiful wife and I, I'd like to... I'd like to thank you all for coming here today and celebrating our special day with us. I, I've been searching forever And I, 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 I found nothing like you Blind, blind, I was blind forever I'd like to welcome Jordan to our family, although he has been part of our household for a good few years now anyway. It's great. Now that they've moved into their own home. <laughs> I might just be able to afford a new set of golf clubs. On the money I'll be saving and feeding them. I'm gonna love you forever. We've gone well with Jordan over the years. Jordan is a hard-working and thoughtful guy. He's a credit to Norman and Gary. Lindsay and I both trust that Jordan will look after Hannah through thick and thin, and it's now over to him to keep her in the way that she's become accustomed to. And that includes her expensive taste in clothes, handbags, and phones. I think you will agree that Hannah is looking absolutely amazing today, although in my eyes she always does. Well, apart from the time that she used to sneak down to the chemist and spend her paper money on thick orange makeup, and she would swear to me and Lindsay that she had no makeup on. Funny enough, around about the same time that Lindsay was always shouting about her white towels being orange. However, Hannah could have definitely got a lead part and Charlie in the Chocolate Factory is a Oompa Loompa. Could you love me too? Could you love me too? Could you love me too? I must also thank Gary and Lindsay for giving us this special day. And I'd also like to say thank you to my mum and dad but my love and thanks today really do have to go to Hannah. Most of all for being here, being so beautiful, being brilliant in so many ways, and for now, being my wife. Firstly, again, I'd like to thank you all for joining us to celebrate this very special day. And again, congratulations to Hannah and Jordan. I do try to keep Jordan on the right track at times, but uh, 
few times it kind of went a bit wrong. But apart from that, he's actually turned out quite fine. And a fine young man, and he's made us all quite proud today. I can take it in. This is a wee tip for the newlyweds. In any argument, try and admit when you're wrong and when you're right, just shut up. <laughs> Joking apart, before I got married, an old neighbour of mine told me that you should never go to your bed on an argument. And that is why I often just sleep on the sofa. Is that right, Lindsay? <laughs> Now, can I now ask you, everybody, to please be upstanding and raise your glasses to toast the bride and groom, the new Mr. and Mrs. Beatty. I'd like you to take a moment to raise your glass, not only to the happy couple, but I'd like you to raise your glass to family and friends that can't be with us or are no longer with us. So can I ask you all to be upstanding, raise a glass, propose a toast, to the new Mrs. Beatty.